Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Samsung TU7000 Crystal UHD 4K Smart TV 2020. In the meantime, the two latest basic models currently available are the TU8000 and the TU7000, the latter being the focus of this review. The TU7000 is an entry-level 4K model and is available in a wide range of screen sizes. Performance The TU7000 is a good and solid performing TV at least with the unit I used for this review. In my opinion and viewing observations with this TV, I felt its strongest picture quality attributes to be its contrast and black level performance. The contrast ratio was excellent which allowed for very good black level performance while viewing dark content. Black screen uniformity was good on this display, showing an even tone of black across the entire screen. There was also very little blooming detected when viewing a white object set against a black screen. This TV will serve most viewers well while viewing in a dark room. Although not great, color rendering was good on this TV without being calibrated. Colors were nicely saturated and tonally accurate. And I was generally pleased with the TU7000's color presentation, even though it doesn't have wide color gamut capability, which would have allowed this TV to display a wider color range when viewing HDR content. Another area where the TU7000 delivered good performance was with detail and clarity. I was impressed with the amount of detail and clarity I saw for an entry-level TV when viewing 4K images. The images were sharp and refined, allowing me to see fine detail in the images I viewed, whether they were close-up shots of objects or outdoor shots of buildings or landscape foliage. What I didn't like or what could have been better with the TU7000's performance. As with most LED LCD TVs, the TU7000 didn't have good wide-angle viewing performance when viewing the TV at wide angles. Surface.The TU7000 is a good-looking TV, especially for an entry-level model. Its overall appearance is sleek and well-refined, with an ultra-thin bezel surrounding its semi-gloss coated screen, surface.the slim bezel design that the TU7000 showcases was once only found on much more expensive models, but has now become commonplace on many of the flat panel designs currently being manufactured. This gives the TU7000 a much classier, and dare I say, expensive look. The TU7000 contains two solidly made feet that are easily inserted, pressed, into the bottom of the TV, no screws or tools required. The feet stand gives the TV very good stability with a minimal amount of wobble when I gently rock the panel back and forth. The TU7000's panel depth is quite thin and measures approximately 2.4 deep. Overall, the TU7000 is solidly constructed and doesn't appear or feel cheaply made. Feature Highlights Crystal display for crystal clear colors that are fine-tuned to deliver a naturally crisp and vivid picture. Crystal processor 4K for 4K upscaling of non-4K content. Boundless design ultra-thin bezel less design appearance ties in powered smart TV OS. Auto game mode, ALLM, automatically optimizes the screen and minimizes input lag, giving you more control. Enjoy a smooth gaming experience without motion blur and judder. HDR10+, plus, HDR10 and HLG high dynamic range format supported. Per color color processing. Motion rate 120 for motion blur reduction, 60 Hz refresh rate, basic remote, no voice recognition feature. Works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant devices. 802.11 AC, built-in Wi-Fi. Bluetooth connectivity, VR. 4.2, connectivity to HDMI 2.0B inputs HDCP 2.2 compliant. One digital optical output. One USB 2.0 input. One Ethernet port. One RF input for antenna cable signals. Bluetooth wireless audio streaming to a compatible speaker or set of headphones. IRC, HDMI input. If you're looking for a decent performing 4K TV and not expecting it to do more than what it was designed for, then take a look at Samsung's TU7000. For an entry-level model, it gets the job done with the exception of certain performance limitations, namely HDR, peak brightness output and wide color gamut capability. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.